Web scraping, web crawling, web harvesting. Different words for collecting data on the web for a variety of uses. Perhaps you would like to compare prices of a product to find the cheapest one. Or just store the current Bitcoin price. There are two main ways to web crawl. You can either do it manually, or you can create an application to do it for you. This tutorial will teach you how to parse the top rated movies list over on imdb.com. We will start off the tutorial with a new C-Sharp project. To easily scroll through the list, we add a data grid view and a picture box. Now we create a new class movie. Here we set the properties we want. For me it will be title and rating. Now that we have a data type movie, we can start scraping. To make our lives easier, we head over to the NuGet manager and install HTML Agility Pack. This library gives us the availability to easily download HTML and extract information. If we head on to the IMDB list and use the inspection tool, we will see that all of the movies are shadow nodes of a table. This means we can copy the X path to the first movie and use it to loop through all of them. But we can't forget the link of the page of course, so we'll add that first. Now that we have the website and XPath, we can make the web scraping function. We load the HTML page with HTML Agility Pack and navigate to the XPath we copied. We'll create a for each loop to declare a new movie class per each node there is. Since we already located the table item node, we just have to specify the child nodes. Which means the nodes that come after our original XPath. In our case, everything that comes after the TR tag.
To minimize crashes, we'll have it run in a try catch statement. Let's make use of the data grid view and put the movies there. Now the last thing would be to call our web scraping function. As you can see, directly taken from the website and into our application. If you want to see how we can change the picture, then stay and watch. Otherwise, thanks for watching, source code is in the description. Alright, this is take two. My, I recorded one time, but it had, had the wrong microphone, so it didn't even record my audio. But this time, I made sure that it So, as before, we had uh, properties of the movie. I just added an image property to the movie class. It's a string. And when we uh, scrape from the website, we just take in that extra property, which we find as easily. So we have the, the node, the TR node, and then we have the shadow nodes, TD, TD. And under the shadow node poster column, we find the A tag. And under the A tag, we find the image source. Now we can just take the attribute value because we can. This won't show up in the inner text. That's just if there's text there. But this is a, a attribute value, the source. So instead of inner text, we just take the dot attributes source and then value. This will also be in string, so we don't have to put or something. And when that it, that's done, we just have our on click function on the data grid view. So we change the image location to that that rows image or image link. So if you want to test this project, uh, there will be a link in the description. But you can also try yourself. Either way, thanks for watching.